Many of you are probably using an Android phone. I mean, after all, Android is based on our favorite kernel, Linux. At least, it's going to be our favorite kernel until maybe 2120, when GNU slash Herd might finally be finished. But there is one big problem with Android. It is absolutely riddled with Google spookiness. Virtually every app is designed to track you, spy on you, and virtually none of them are open source. Also, the typical way that most people download their applications is through the Google Play Store, which requires you to identify yourself with a Gmail account and oftentimes a phone number as well. Luckily, there is a way to mitigate that specific piece of spookiness, and that is by downloading applications through F-Droid. F-Droid is a repository of free and open source apps for Android. And when I say free, I'm not talking about the type of free where you don't have to pay any money. I'm talking about the type of free that really matters, freedom respecting. Although most of the apps on F-Droid are also free as in money as well. The software that you'll find in F-Droid does not do these unnecessary tracking or spying on you and your activities like the apps that you'll find in the Play Store. So if you want to start optimizing your privacy and security on your smartphone without going full Ted Kaczynski and using carrier pigeons as your only form of communication, F-Droid is a good place to start. Now, of course, F-Droid is only one step in making an Android phone less spooky. If you really want to take your privacy seriously, then I would suggest rooting your phone and installing Lineage OS on it as a custom ROM, because Google, as well as the hardware manufacturers like Samsung or Sony, like to embed spooky applications deep within the OS, beyond the reach of any task manager that doesn't have root privileges. But to get started with installing F-Droid, you'll want to first sideload the APK for it. This is a process by which you download an application directly to your phone and install it without having to go through any type of app store. Of course, you could also install non-freedom respecting apps this way from a website like APK Pure, which would be less spooky than installing them through the Play Store, but these APKs are usually not freedom respecting in the first place. They're basically the same type of APKs that you would find in the Play Store. To download F-Droid, I recommend heading to ftroid.org and downloading and installing the APK from there. If you haven't enabled installing from non-trusted sources already on your Android phone, you'll have to do so in your application settings. Your Android phone will usually prompt you to change the setting when you first tap on the APK, but if it doesn't, just search for sources in your phone settings and you'll be able to find it. And don't worry about the term untrusted or unknown sources. Google just doesn't trust anybody other than themselves. And those guys aren't even making an effort to not be evil anymore. So how important is their trust really? So to enable the trusted sources, install F-Droid, and you'll have to do the same thing to trust F-Droid itself as a software source in addition to the browser that you use to download it with. There is also a PGP signature that you can use to verify the authenticity of the F-Droid APK that you are downloading. This way, if you're paranoid about some type of man-in-the-middle attack that might have compromised the F-Droid APK, you can verify that that isn't going on simply tap on the PGP key from the F-Droid website and you'll get this long string of characters. This is the PGP key. So you'll want to then verify it for the actual APK that you downloaded using a tool like APK Pure's online APK signature verification tool 
or you could use something like the GNU PGP verify tool on Linux if you don't trust an online verification tool. So simply copy the Ftroid APK to your Linux desktop and then run the application from your terminal against the APK. However, the Ftroid website is served over an encrypted connection, so it is highly unlikely that anything would be tampered with there. After installing Ftroid, it will do a quick check of your phone's hardware and OS version to make sure that it is actually compatible with all of the apps that are in the repository. Once you've got all of that done, you're ready to start using Ftroid. As you can see, Ftroid is an amazingly polished software repository with all of the applications sorted into different categories based on connectivity, development, games, graphics, internet, etc. You might even recognize some of the applications there that are available in the Play Store as well. But like I said previously, Ftroid doesn't require any signups, no need to give away your phone number, email, or any other personal details that you don't want to give just to install an application. To install an app, simply click on its icon and select install, much like you would in the Play Store. You can also search for an application using the magnifying glass in the lower right hand corner. Now, some of the applications that you'll find on Ftroid come with features, or rather anti-features, as Ftroid calls them, that make the app not as privacy respecting. So if you stumble upon an application like this, you can click on more to get more details about what features the application has that are not privacy respecting. To update the Ftroid repository, Simply swipe down and you'll see the message at the top of your phone that the repository is being updated. You can also click on the updates bell to update the repository that way. There are several settings that can be changed within Ftroid. You can manage your installed apps in much the same way that you would in the Google Play Store. You can add additional repositories that way you get access to even more software that doesn't come in the default Ftroid repository. And you can change your updates and data settings to use Wi-Fi automatically or have Ftroid prompt you to use Wi-Fi. And you can also change the update interval. Default setting is daily. And most importantly, you can change the theme to a dark theme. That looks a whole lot better. You can also use Tor to download applications and updates over a Tor connection. This does require Orbot to be installed first, so make sure that you first install Orbot through Ftroid. And you can also get applications directly from your peers over a Bluetooth connection. So even if you don't have an internet connection or a cellular connection, you can still get apps if your buddies are around even the Play Store can't do that. Both of you just have to have Ftroid installed and your Bluetooth enabled, and then that way you can sync to each other directly. There are many Ftroid apps that I recommend using to further harden your phone's privacy and security. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a deep dive on those applications. There are many applications that I use from Ftroid like Orbot, which of course lets you connect to the Tor network, NetGuard, which is a firewall tool that can actually be very useful for preventing spooky applications that you can't disable on a non-rooted phone from connecting to the internet. That way it basically mitigates any type of reporting that they would be able to do. There is also Bromite, which is one of the best privacy respecting mobile browsers that is available on Android. And there are also web apps for applications like Facebook or WhatsApp 
essentially these web apps would let you use these applications that would normally be very spooky if you've ever installed them on an Android phone before. You know that there is all types of permissions that they want. They want to have access to your location, access to your camera, GPS, everything like that. But by using the web app, you are able to limit the amount of permissions and access that these applications need to use. So it's very handy in case you actually need to talk to normies who don't want to use a more secure messaging app like Signal. So that's about it for this video. Be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with people that don't know about F-Droid. Bye now.